Hi there, this is your friend Vrendra Diyar in this early morning when you can see here the droplets are falling and there is a drizzle you see the drops are falling from the heaven the sky and wisdom is also showering on me from the heaven and so I just want to share with you some of the great philosophy of life some creed some kind of motive some kind of purpose of living life in a great manner as the great Ralph Waldo Emerson said the very purpose of life is just not living but to be very, very fruitful, useful and productive to the society. Then there is a meaning of life. You can get example of Ralph Waldo Emerson himself. Also you can remember Dr. Napoleon Hill, Andrew Carnegie, Henry Ford, Graham Well, Thomas Alva Edison, Wright Brothers, Einstein, Newton, Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, Alexander, Napoleon, the great Abraham Lincoln, innumerable, millions and millions, if you count the history, you will find great people where they are always gracing this planet Earth. They dedicated their life for a noble cause. They have a definite purpose, they have a fixed purpose in life, they have a motive, they have inspiration, they have intuition, they have hunches and they serve the mankind to the best of their ability relying on the power of mind, whatever the mind can conceive and believe the mind can achieve and they really tap that resources and exploited it greatly and the world was made beautiful because of these poets like Shakespeare Kalidas, Tulsidas, Surdas, Edgar Albert Guest, Wordsworth, Longfellow, Lord Tennyson, John Keats, millions, millions of people. They experienced life and then they shared the beautiful philosophy of life to guide the man kind who are groping the darkness of ignorance, indolence and thoughtful, thoughtful, thoughtlessness, beloved friends. And the world is so beautiful today. Invention, discoveries, they have conquered time and space. They have removed all the diseases from the mankind and much more yet to be done. But what about us? What about you? What I should do? I also want to win the galaxy of such greats who really made the world so beautiful. I also want to contribute significantly so that lives of great men all remind us we can make our life sublime and departing leave behind us footprints on the sense of time. That is the real purpose of life. We do not live just in flesh and blood but we live in our deeds, in our action, in our great achievements. That will be the real meaning and purpose of life. All such great men have lived this such kind of life. I am really very much ambitious, a dreamer. I want to emulate these such great people. I worked hard throughout my life, but somehow till now I have not found that rhythm where I can really serve the mankind but I'm always finding the different ways, means, striving, seeking how to be useful and productive to the society. But do not be discouraged if we have not become as great as those stars we have not really served the mankind in such a great magnitude but our intention is not less than any of such great people. We also want to serve the mankind very sincerely, very honestly, following the path of truth and justice, peace, love and non-violence. I love everyone and I get reminded 
He prayeth best, who loveth best, all things, both great and small, for the dear God loved us, He made and loved all. I really love people. I want to serve as much as I can, but my contributions are not very significant. And it is not alone me, dear friends. You may be one such great person who might not have really served the mankind and conquered the hearts of the millions of the people on this globe. As an actor, as a performer, as a magician, as a musician, as a movie star, you might have played different roles, but somehow, somehow, you cannot create such environment and conditions and you remain ordinary mortals. Our journey of life will end one day. It will be all over with us and people will forget us. We cannot make a space on this planet Earth. We cannot be written in the history books because we have not achieved so much. Then what to do, dear friends? See, today, early in the morning when I started, I was on a cycling trip, but I could not resist my temptation. I am I still with you? I am still with you, you see, in this cycling dress, because it's drizzling, I protected myself. But still I love you so much that I come out with some of the great inspiration so that you will never be discouraged and disappointed once you have not been able to serve the mankind. They are very lucky, as Steve Jobs said. You must try to find out your really passion, your craze of life, the level of love, like Steve Jobs has real liking, passion for computers, and related things, Napoleon Hill has passion for writing, Andrew Carnegie really loved the mankind, and he wanted to share with the entire humanity the secret of his success, how millions can follow the path who are just on the streets without much education, still they can become great in life because simply they have to rely on their brain power. They have to have a fixed purpose in life, make alliance with the best people, have tremendous belief and faith in themselves, be willing to go extra mile, taking personal initiative, a tremendous willpower and determination, a positive mental attitude, self-discipline and self-control and balanced mind, working in a team selflessly, maintaining a sound physical health. That way, he guided Napoleon Hill to write the success philosophy and he became immortal. I too want to do such great things in life, beloved friends, but till now I don't know how far I can do. You know, the great clergyman, so many have done great, the acres of diamond. Well, he really founded the school and colleges and university, the Temple University of Philadelphia, for the people who were interested and deserving, but they don't have sufficient money to pay the fee. Who can forget such great people? Another great example was the Armour Institute of Technology by Gonzalez. He also had a great dream and desire. Beloved friends, I very sincerely want to go in that category. To live every moment for the service of the mankind. But till now I don't see any space. I'm searching everywhere the opportunity and I've never dampened my spirit. But in the selfish society, you will not be given that opportunity easily. You have to conquer it, want it, and snatch it from the people. And still I am that path. And I will never stop until I found such opportunity in my life. Then what to do, dear friends? 
in such conditions and circumstances, what you will do? You will give up? No, no, never give up. Never, never give up. But never allow your spirit to be dampened also. One of my great poets, Asgar Edward Guest, really composed a poem which can really inspire you. That is Creed. That is very, very inspiring poem. It can really stimulate your intelligence and you can be really very much happy whatever little contribution you have made and you can really read those poems and get inspiration because tools of my message has been always great poems because through these poems I really get inspiration, wisdom and share with millions of my friends all over the world. So here I want to just remind you the great message what Ed, Edgar Albert Guest is giving to us. To live as gently as I can, to be no matter where a man, to take what comes of good or ill and cling to faith and honor still, to do my best and let that stand, the record of my brain and hand, and then, should failure come to me, still work and hope for victory. Beloved friends, you might have failed several times, but remember, failures are the pillars of success. Every defeat and failures are temporary, and all great people always learn lessons from it. Every adversity, misfortune and failure, brings a seed of an equivalent benefit. So Edgar Gelbert guest also learned lessons from such failures and we have to learn that. To have no secret place wherein I stoop unseen to shame or sin, to be the same when I am alone and when my every deed is known, to live undaunted, unafraid of any step that I have made to be without pretense or sham exactly what men think I am. Beloved friends, we have not to be a pleasing character to please the people around us. We should live with our own creed philosophy. That will be really the true success, true greatness, always using every moment of our life without wasting a moment because we being the equal temper of heroic heart, though may be weak, made weak by time and fate, but is still strong in will to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. That is my spirit, beloved friends. And I really want to inspire you to really cultivate this habit of always believing in yourself, having faith in yourself, and never get discouraged and disappointed. Never allow fear and doubt to haunt your mind because that really kills the spirit, the power of will. The desire will vanish and you will become aimless, a man drifting in the ocean of uncertainties and failures. Then, to leave some simple mark behind, to keep my having lived in mind, if and mighty to out I show to be an honest, generous foe, to play my little part, nor whine that greater honors are not mine. This I believe is all I need for my philosophy and for my creed. Beloved friends, I am very much convinced never be discouraged and disappointed. Try to do your best. All are not really made equal. We are made different. And our planning, our purpose, our goal, mission may, may be different. Sometimes, you know, fortune favors the brave, but all cannot become Napoleon the Great, Alexander the Great, Ashoka the Great, Akbar the Great. There have to be common people like us also. 
but our sole responsibility is that we should be very sincere, committed, dedicated, rational, loving everyone, living in the environment which is full of joys, peace and serenity, helping others, motivating others, inspiring others, and spend a life full of really wisdom. If you quote Buddha, I want nothing. I want nothing. Whatever I have got is enough, but I want really enlightenment. To be a lamp among the darks, to live happily without much ambition, without much desires to serve the mankind. Never harm others, being non-violent, peaceful, beloved friends. That is also my philosophy, creed, the way of life. Every moment I spend in meditation, contemplation, learning something, sharing something with all of you. Be happy. Strive to be cheerful. In this trickery world, trust none. Accept yourself, your Master Mind Alliance partner, and the ultimate Father, God. You can do great. Remember the two things. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can really achieve for you. And you can do it if you believe you can. Because life's battle is not always won by the greats. But those people who really believe in themselves, believing in the power of their mind, having the power of the persistence, the willpower, the determination, the daring, the courage, the conviction, and never say die attitude. Thousands time you may fail, but try once more, and keep on trying once more. Example is of Columbus, when he wanted to discover America, Every morning, because all sailors used to ask, suppose tomorrow we are not finding a land, what we shall do? The answer was simple. We will keep on moving till we find it. Yes, arise awake and stop not till the goal is reached. That is ultimate wisdom. Either way, we will pass away from this earth. Why not to fight like a valiant, like a brave hero? who knows nothing but victory, victory in every walk of life, in our morality, in our character, in our achievement, because we are concentrating on single object, to be learned, to be wise, to be honorable, to be respectable, love all, hate none. That is the real true, true secret of success. Forgiveness, evil, not against evil done to you. Pay everything in love, and then the world will change. I love you, and I thank you very much. This is your friend Vrindra Diyar, with all the humble submission in the service of the mankind. Thank you.